Louisiana Beer Reviews, we're looking at Hot Box Coffee IPA from Oscar Blues. I was shocked when I first saw this. I said, Coffee IPA? What will they think of next? Yeah, because the last two years in a row, their Hot Box was put out in a porter. Yeah. Which makes sense to mix coffee notes and porters because they kind of match. Yeah. But I saw this one and I said, hmm, Coffee IPA. And at first I walked past it. Because it didn't make sense to me. Coffee and IPA. But then I thought about it. I said, there's bitter notes on coffee. There's bitter notes on IPAs. So I was wondering how these two would fit together. You know, would it be like someone pouring coffee in a nice beer and mix it together? Or would it be we just get some really good notes off of it? Well, but you're ready to crack it. Because it's by Oscar Blues which is a pretty darn good beer company. Heck yeah. I figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. I don't like everything they make, but I like most of it. I don't like everything they make, but I'm like you, I like most everything. Like I said, when they put it out in the porter, to me it was kind of normal. It wasn't really spectacular. Like their mom's little like, yellow pills. I didn't care for that too much. Um, yeah, it's okay. I think it's one of you just want a beer to drink, it's all right. It's, it's all better right. than, it's better than No, I didn't really agree with that. Um, now, they're, um, so that Imperial Stout that they make, you know, 10 Fidey, that's ten. a dynamite beer, man. They call it 10 Fidey if you call it I ten call it 10 Fidey, but... Because um, you got to be contrary. Well, it's, it would have to have two Ds for it to be a long high. But, um, yeah, they, they're um, Govna... And that one that uh, the Scotch ale, mm, oh yeah, yeah it was great. That's a you good know, one. Governor's good too. I wish somebody would make a coffee and chicory beer. You know, like a you know, like the mm -hmm. um, Cafe Du Monde coffee and chicory beer or a RT mm -hmm. coffee chick. Why not make a coffee and chicory beer? Because I don't think some people appreciate chicory. Chicory has a bitter note, big time. Well, it's endive root, so well, hello. Don't know that either. Hello. What's All good? Right. You know, bitter, beer, IPA, coffee, chicory. Okay. White head, slightly off-white. Orange gold appearance, am I right so far? Yeah, it looks like an IPA. Looks like what we've been drinking. Ah, but somebody dumped coffee in this thing. Sure did. <sighs> it smells to me like when you get those coffee beans and you grind them at your house. And they have kind of like that fullness, aroma comes out. When you do what? If you take whole, whole coffee beans and you put them in a grinder and you grind them up. Oh, like when I came back from Costa Rica and I had those two bags of coffee beans and I put, and them, and I, I put them in our coffee grinder and oh, Correct. that was so good, man. There, yeah, there's some kind of a smell that comes off this. You know, I ought to use that grinder again. It grinds coffee fine. I just uh, haven't bought any beans since 1985. Ha ha ha. True story. I think it smells great. It smells Not like every coffee. 32 years I like to buy coffee it beans. It smells like right. coffee. But it tastes like... Oh boy. It tastes like ramen. It tastes like ramen noodles, chicken flavor. I'm not getting that. It's uh, what brand of ramen? It's uh, baby, because I don't eat ramen noodles. What's the one with the M? The mu, the mu, marsh, musha, mar. Yeah. Definitely tastes like chicken ramen. So, you take coffee, you mix it with an IPA, you get chicken flavored ramen noodles. Marishan, mm. that's what it is. Um, well, I don't taste chicken flavored ramen noodles. Again, I don't eat those. However, what I'm getting is coffee, bitter notes, merging with an IP bitter note and creating a whole different... <sighs> flavor 
with a clean finish. The so aroma it's is like coffee. Yeah, the aroma is almost like a chicken consomme. Like Campbell's chicken consomme. Well, it's beef consomme, isn't it? Like the chicken broth, chicken stock. Swanson. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't eat nachos earlier. Now I didn't mess up my flavor um, per, um, perception. Um, it does have sort of like a chicory flavor, to be mm. honest. Because you know the chicory has it has that bitterness in the coffee, so it kind of has that chicory flavor. Coffee, but the coffee's fading, man. The coffee's fading. I'm just getting some. Chicken on uh, the body's full, high medium to full body. It's a medium dry, mostly dry finish actually, mostly dry finish. Seven point two alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really weird. The bitterness it is, weird. is it's weird in a good way. The bitterness is there, mm -hmm. but I think it's blended so much in with the coffee. <sighs> And there's some acrid notes from the coffee. It's not really, I don't think too many people would drink this and say, oh, it's so bitter. No. It's so bitter. I can't take it. It's too bitter. Really, it's not that bitter. But if you like bitterness, you'll appreciate the levels that you get off of this. I remember my grandmother, my grandfather, like, had to have coffee all the time, right? Mm -hmm. He would wake up at four in the morning and sit on the side of the bed and say, coffee. Coffee. He would just keep saying that word, coffee, until she would get up and make coffee. <laughs> so, she would say, it's a lot cheaper to get the coffee and chicory, all right, community? Mm -hmm. So he said, I don't drink that garbage, chicory, I want real coffee. And then she would just lie to him and tell him, oh, no, this is regular community, dark roast. But she, she was actually serving him coffee and chicory, and he was like, what's going on with this stuff? Something's wrong with this coffee. And eventually he got used to it. And he never questioned it. So uh, I'm not advocating lying to people and telling them that something is something else, but that is a true story. So I'm thinking a style on this is something I've never had before. It's a real very, hard, yeah, really, you can't really, really place really it. There's no, like, how does it taste in the coffee IPA like who style? Who the heck would take coffee and mix it with an IPA? The only way you do that if you go on a bitter note. You get bitter on coffee, you get bitter on IBA. So if you merge those two together, you're going to get a different flavor out. It's quite possible what you're tasting is a different flavor that I'm not tasting. I think in the coffee IPA style, it's, it's really good. Real, it's, 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 it's a clean finish. But it does have a weird thing. Like everything it does I, kind of have a weird funkiness to Everything it. I described earlier, I'm sticking with it. It has a strange herbal. Like these ramen... I think the flavorings, the ramen has strange herbs they use, maybe like, like the oregano. What kind of hops they use in this? Because it could be, it could be the hops. Like oregano. And they might use chicory, yeah. I swear. Maybe so. I think it's good. I think they have chicory in it. But it just says coffee, right? So doesn't some coffee have chicory? Yes. Could they have mm -hmm. used coffee with chicory? Yes. Could we be perceiving that and throwing our palate off? Yes. Yes. Could it be? Tasting like ramen noodles. Well, I know, you know, that's a little controversial, but that's what I got when I first tasted it. Well, chicken flavor ramen. Um, <laughs> and Swanson's chicken bro uh, stock. Well, it's a strange herbal. Ah, basil. Oh. That's what I was thinking. You mean like a bouillon? Basil. Yeah, like those. Bouillon, yeah, I mean, a slight bouillon off of that's what you're talking about. Chicken I mean, bouillon, you know, yeah. A slight bouillon. So if you want, you want to drink a beer that tastes like coffee and chicory and man, and uh, a bouillon background. Chicken bouillon cubes. This and, uh, might be for you. And ramen noodles, and um, uh, all these other bizarre it's a weird flavors. style. I like it. I'm a bitter new IPA guy, and I'm gonna say I'll give it on style. I'll give it a crazy A just because no one else has ever done it, and I like the way things are coming together. Yeah, I'll give it an A. It's different. It's the unique. B, it's it tastes, memorable. It tastes good, and I mean, I reviewed that. Uh, I re I did a revisit of that Patascala that you gave me. Mm -hmm. Remember that one from Stone? And I said it tasted like like uh, fish scales and baby spit up. 
Well, I'm added to the babies. But it was good. But uh, it was bizarre, and people didn't like that review. They gave it a lot of thumbs down because they was they said they were saying you say it tastes like baby spit up. No, what the guy said you say it tastes like vomit and fish scales. You give it an A. I said yeah, just that's what came to mind. I think it's best to whatever comes to mind you say it because there's something behind it, right? Yeah. And you know, really, it's almost always you're just making close approximations. You know, it's not really like any of those things. But um, but then the ultimate question is: Is it you know excellent or good or fair or bad or or undrinkable? Well, in this case, it's excellent. I I, I agree with you in A. But it's it's strange now. Get ready for strangeness. If if unique is what you seek, this will work. I'll agree. You got any final comments? I bought it twice. It's very nice. Heat order twice. All right. In a four pack. So, um, two A's. Only go for that. Two A's. Thanks, Lazy Lay Bon Lake. Thanks for watching this video production. Y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish.